Welcome to Harvey Dent's Fact Finder. Today is a very sad day for Harvey Dent. I was called a dirtbag by YouTube's nice guy, one of the most eloquently speaking creators on YouTube. Called me a dirtbag because I lied. Well, unlike um, Mr. Brian does <laughs> with his viewers, uh, giving only his side of a story, I will provide you both sides of the story. Harvey Dent, you're an antagonizer anyway. You you showed you showed what an absolute buffoon you are by doing that IHS thing with my rounded high impact flicks thing, injecting that into the that that is I mean you can do whatever you want to do. I would never call for your channel to be shut You're down. Being their sheep. Well, as a favor, here is all of the information that they've left out for you. I'm not gonna go through it all. The videos have already been created. If you would like to go view the videos for your own information, um, this is all factual information. This is not any conjecture. This is not any assumption. This is fact. This is relationships between entities that had something to do with the staging of the uh, borderline bar shooting. I mean, I understand that you like for them to point out little things about the mainstream media stories that don't line up. But when they are keeping facts like this from you, then only a fool would not ask themselves why. Again, I don't care if you subscribe to me or not. I'm not monetized. My channel was just deleted last week. Nor am I trying to use Richie or Brian's channel's names to raise my channel any. I expect them to deliver the news. This is news. If they couldn't deliver this to you, then I could not put much faith or trust in them. If you continue to... That's your choice. I just upload my opinion based on my experiences or facts, and I leave it at that. But you're, yes, yeah, says Harvey needs a woman. Harvey, you're, you're a dirtbag, man. You're a flat out dirtbag. And, and I don't even say that about people. <laughs> you deserve it, though. For me to even give you airtime on this, I'll, I'll address you, though. You can come on, you can come on a live stream. I never called the dude any names. I never dis disrespected him. I guess maybe calling someone a shill could be considered disrespecting them, but not if uh, you have enough evidence to support that claim, which I felt and feel I still do have. But questioning someone's uh, commitment to the delivering the truth by calling them a shill and calling someone a dirtbag and a liar are like two completely, totally different things. And man. that's something he admits he never does. So why did he do that to me? Because I make him uncomfortable. Well, when you're a dirtbag, you're a dirtbag. He, he, he definitely lied. He definitely lied. So I can say nicely that Harvey lied. I know. I love you too, Harvey. I don't like to start drama, man. But when you... And, and even the guy who did the thing where, hey, hi, I'm Pat Oh, my flashlight doesn't work. Batteries are 1995. But he equated that with fraud. You know, if you're if you're fraud, you're you're criminally doing something for profit. When you're making shirts available, whatever, you're not a fraud. And by the way, guys, all this all the sponsors that I have, the only reason I promote any of those is because I use all that myself. Before we get back to the topic, this video is sponsored by StemUp.com. Stem cells in your body divide to produce new body tissues for maintenance and repair. Cut your finger or break a bone, and your stem cells immediately go to work. By age 65, you've lost 90% of those cells. But now, you may be able to boost those naturally within one hour by 30% with a new plant-based capsule. Everybody's chemistry is different, but for a lot of people, this produces tons of benefits that help reduce the effects of aging. Hmm, for a lot of people, well, how does it affect you, Brian, uh, you use everything you promote, right? Now, if we're being honest, you're being honest with yourself. You know, I've just proven that you've lied. Okay, Harvey says, let's, let's just go. Harvey says, anyone who has a problem with me has a problem with truth. Truth, even though all Harvey did on that one was lie and use ad hominem attacks against me, which weren't substantiated. Again, there will be a link down in the description of the video in which he's claiming that I um, made a bunch of ad hominem attacks. No, I basically pointed out the facts and the connections that he intentionally left out of his story. Considering all the connections that I had made pointed to the Freemasons and the uh, Rotary Club and a, uh, and a Chamber of Commerce that was basically controlled by Freemasons, I just... You know, took for granted that he must be with them since 
he would not touch it. It can't be substantiated at all. So he said, anyone who has a problem with me has a problem with truth. That's a lie. This dude is an agent. That's me. He says, I'm an agent. Okay, who am I an agent for? Help free his sovereign citizen friend that ain't in jail. Stumped. Gosh, there's, yeah, I can yeah. That's that's nice, Harvey. So how do you know he's not in jail? Give me the proof. Give me the proof that he's not in jail. For someone that seems to be so knowledgeable about this government's deceptions, he sure um, plays like he doesn't very well. For any of you that have been with me for any amount of time, over like a year, you know the history with my channel, The Sovereign Citizens, and Hat J and the prosecution of RKB and Hat J and the whole show that was a federal show. There's more evidence to Hat J not existing than there is to her existing. And pretty much any convicted and jailed quote unquote sovereign citizen has been a product of a PSYOP. Because I communicate with them on Core Links, which is the federal website to get uh, to get through to those inmates over there, and Core Links goes straight to the Terre Haute, Indiana jail. See, it's all Harvey can. Do. Harvey can only lie, and I don't know why he does that. Harvey Dent, email him and arrange a live stream with him. Don't come on the chat and be a sh talker. Oh, well, I'm not talking s. Okay, what else you got, Harv? Do to others what you'd want others to do to you. And I, there's no way, Harvey, if you're still on, there's no way I would do to you what you did to me. I wouldn't call you out. Besides that, you and I had somewhat some some conversations that were some, somewhat cordial of emails, if I remember right. And I thought everything was okay. And then out of the blue, you all of a sudden slammed me in public. That's not something that you would want done to you. Or maybe you would. No, Brian, I would not. I don't know if you could tell, but I'm, you know, I'm a very sensitive guy, man. So, yeah, my feelings are hurt pretty easily. Being called a dirtbag, a liar, saying all I do is lie, um, that's ridiculous, man. Um, all I did was show facts that you were not showing or sharing in your reporting of a story and pointing out the fact that you were not sharing this information. So I'm sorry if my expectations of you as a uh, source of information was too high maybe that's what it was yeah, but the only way i would be interested in doing a live stream with you is if you would you know address the topics that i am bringing to discuss the facts that you left out of the borderline shooting you know when i started striking information gold you dropped and ran and why you are petitioning and pushing for someone that is a quote-unquote sovereign citizen to be released from jail when my experience personally actually historically timothy mcveigh was a sovereign citizen that was a psyop the alaskan militia and the sovereign the whole cyber sovereign citizen movement is a psyop so why are you petitioning for this agent to be released if he is actually sitting in jail i mean who cares how you say you contact him and believe you about that as much as I believe that you use this uh, plant-based uh, stem cell regenerative shit. Chances of us doing a live stream together are slim to none. Because first, he would not stick to the topics that I want to address. And secondly, why would he want to do a live stream with me? I know why. Because he would be able to control the platform. Bring me on uh, and pretend there's some kind of connection issue while his audience, you know, attacks me and, you know, I'm not able to respond or even get across the points I'm trying to make. So, yeah, the chances of us sharing a live stream together, <laughs> slim to none, because I see no benefit of it. He has to do what he has to do. I have to do what I have to do. I stand on truth, fact, and my personal experiences. Why would I blindside or attack someone if we're fighting for the same thing. Because I felt that thing we were fighting for had been betrayed. So that's my justification. I still love you, Brian. But yeah, live stream ain't going to happen, dude. In the end, who cares if I claim you're a shill or not? You still have your audience of a half a million subscribers and are making a 
buttload of money. So, man, you know, good to you for doing what you do and being able to uh, profit off of it. Also good for you for reintroducing the idea of the golden rule to this society that has forgotten about that. Yeah, seems that you may have forgotten about it too. I ain't call you any names, Until man. Until you find your truth, keep looking.